Hey everyone, Cullen Haskins. Uh, today I want to talk a little bit about uh, the power of our beliefs. You know, why do we believe certain things to be true in our life and, and why do we believe certain things not to be true? You know, the re bottom line is, you know, everybody was brought up differently and what we were raised and what we seen around uh, as we were growing up, what we heard around growing up, and what was modeled to us, right? What what uh, what were these examples that were set forth to us? And then that's what we live into usually. Uh, and these are what form our beliefs and our patterns. And how you believe uh, will determine, you know, what actions you take in your life, um, and what direction those actions are. And uh, Ultimately, the bottom line is whether somebody chooses to take action on certain things in their life or not, all directs back to what they believe and what they've been raised to believe. Dare I say brainwashed. And, you know, sometimes you hear that term and you're like, oh my gosh, brain, I knew a brainwashing, right? It's like, listen, every single one of us have been brainwashed to believe exactly whatever it is we've been raised to believe. And, and, and where did those thoughts and patterns and, and modeling and all of this come from? Uh, usually family, friends, uh, environment. Um, and, and so therefore everything around us shapes us into whether or not we choose to believe or not believe in certain things, um, but also believe in us. Do we believe in, in us? You know, I always ask people, you know, would you follow you as a leader? And you know, probably 95% of the time people will be like, no, I'd be scared to death to follow me. You know what I mean? But the reality is, is that, you know, you want to choose to be a leader, in my opinion. And to be a leader, you have to be an awesome follower. You have to be great at delegating. You have to have a, a huge amount of trust and you have to be great stepping out on faith. And so if these are things that you're awesome at, then uh, you're probably a, a great leader. If you're not awesome at these things, the good news is, is that they're all a learnable skill and things that I've learned. And I wouldn't even, you know, consider, I'm not, I'm not saying, I'm not saying at this point that like, Hey, well, Collins is a great leader, but I do know this much that I love what I do. And when you love what you do, then, you know, every day is a blessing, right? Every day is a blessing, you know, uh, and it's not a job. It's not work. No big thing, right? And a lot of people don't do what they love. Or some people do what they love and 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 potentially uh, um, are living a happy 100% fulfilled life. And if that's you, that's fantastic. You know, but if that's not you, then you got to ask yourself, why am I choosing this road? And at the fork, why didn't I turn the other way? And it's all about choices and options, guys. Uh, but, uh, you know, I'm going to do a number of videos on belief and stuff because, man, you could talk about this stuff for days. But the reality is, is it, is it all it is all brainwashing and is brainwashing yourself to believe uh, that you are enough and you are already made to be enough and more than enough, um, you know, in, in God's eyes, you know, at the end of the day, guys. So anyways, listen, make it an awesome day and uh, go out there. And, and help somebody else out, change some lives.